hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will see the overview of this beautiful dashboard which is completely designed and developed in tableau software so our today's topic is road accident dashboard and if you can see this beautiful dashboard is completely dynamic and interactive which is operated by using these three filters at the top which is current year previous year and select accident severity and you can see uh, i have used different type of kpis different type of charts custom charts which we will see one by one so before that what i will do uh, i will show you how to operate this beautiful dashboard and you can see uh, the values changing with respect to that particular filters over here so first we have your current year and the second filter we have is a previous year so right now current year have a default value of 2022 and previous year as 2021 so what uh, we are showing here is we are comparing the current year with respect to previous year and we have a dynamic way to choose our current year and previous year let's say we want to compare our uh, current year with respect to not previous year but we want to compare it by 2022 so we have an option here and we can see all the values will be changed with respect to that so that is area chart which you can see here it is of previous year chart and the uh, line chart which you can see here it is a current year and you can see the year on year growth of accidents and the total casualties and different types of casualty with respect to current year and previous year similarly the casualties which are done by different vehicle type those particular values will also change with respect to that all right so i will go back and i will select this as 2021 and then we have a current year and all these particular charts which we can see are made with respect to the current year casualties so when i am changing this 2021 you can see all the values will change with respect to that and we will get the values of uh, like 2021 year what will be the uh, casualties done by different uh, vehicle types weather condition road surface by location and by road type all right so i will go ahead and choose this again as 2022 so this is a complete dynamic way to compare between two uh, fiscal years we can say then we have one more filter here is uh, the select accident severity so when i select uh, from fatal to when i click on serious as a uh, accident severity we can see all the color combination will change with respect to that of all the charts and we can see uh, this uh, what we can see the combination of all uh, the accident severity which is uh, towards the serious uh, fatal type right and the values are with respect to that for all the uh, what we can see charts so whenever i'm changing it from slight you can see it will change uh, the colors and we will be seeing the combination of uh, what we can say the values with respect to the slight accident severity and when i select all all means what all the accident severities calculations will be done and you can see uh, like they are combined and we can see uh, the data of with respect to all as well right and uh, not with respect to this we have also use some uh, what we can say uh, the action filters over here so whenever i'm clicking on let's say car you can see the values will change with respect to that and we will be seeing the values only for the vehicle type that is car so by car how many accidents are done and what are the casualties with respect to that similarly when i click on uh, the goods vehicle we will get the values with respect to that right so this is one more action filter which we have used and here also with respect to let's say weather condition we want to see for fine weather condition how many accidents are done so you can see with respect to that the values will be changing Similarly, with respect to wet uh, road surface, let's say by wet road surface, uh, how many accidents are done by different vehicles, what are the current year accidents and all those conditions, right? And if similarly by road type as well, if you click on dual carriageway, we can see the values are changing with respect to that as well. All right. So at last coming to what different charts which we have used in this particular dashboard. So here you can see this is a overall KPI which is mentioned at the left and vertically arranged. So this is the total accident, total casualties. Then we have fatal casualties, serious and slight casualties as an overall KPI. And we have your year on year growth with char, uh, with respect to current year and previous year. And here is a spark line. Uh, the area chart shows the previous year and the line chart shows us the current year, uh, what we can say the trend then at the top in uh, horizontally arranged we have a uh, different kpis which are with respect to vehicle type so there are different vehicles like agriculture vehicle bus car van then bicycle or motorcycle and there are other vehicles which are not listed in the data and with respect to that how many casualties are done and with respect to uh, this filter we can uh, fi figure out or we can filter out the fatal casualties slight or serious casualties so and we have a small numbers over here which indicates whether they are increasing or decreasing year on year and 
then we have a two uh, donut charts which are custom charts here which shows the, uh, the casualties by weather condition and by road surface and one more point here to remember guys if we can see the titles of all these particular charts are dynamic so whenever i'm choosing it from fatal to serious you can see uh, the dynamic title will change and we, it will indicate that yeah we are seeing it uh, with respect to the serious accident severity right and then we have used here uh, a bar chart uh, which gives us the idea about road type and its uh, casualties done by different road types uh, which, where the accidents are made and at last we have uh, by location so the location gives us the different district in uk uh, where the accidents are done if you if you hover over on that particular point it will give us the idea in the tooltip that yeah the accident severity was serious and what was the district it was like um, shetland islands and how many casualties were there and how many uh, number of vehicles were involved in that particular accident right so this gives us a brief idea of everything so if you want a detailed video of this i will make a video of start to end how to design this and uh, you can go ahead and uh, like like this video subscribe the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can uh, you you will know when this video comes out and you can design this in your system all right so see you guys in the next one thank you